Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Archbishop Wood High School. It is a standalone night in the Philadelphia Catholic League, only one game on the calendar. Bob Long here with John Mosco, the head coach of Archbishop Wood, who takes on Newman Gretti here tonight. John, a big home game for you this evening. Yeah, another big Catholic League game. Uh, you know, a rivalry, especially with Carl, very good friend. They just honored him. You know, it's always uh, exciting when we get to play them. And now you find yourself here after the conclusion of this game. You'll have played Roman Catholic, Archbishop Ryan, and Newman Garetti. Doing yourselves or the league doing you no know, favors with the scheduling, but what does this early gauntlet do for you guys? Um, it gets us ready for the season. We, we had a tough um, non-league schedule. And, you know, we leave Saturday to go play another non-league game. So, you know, we just have to get re ready for the wards at the Catholic League. There's no easy matchups. No, but we appreciate you having us out for this one. This will be fun. Good yeah. luck. Thank you, Bob. Thanks for coming out. John Mosco with us here. Jeff Cirilla, he's with us here tonight. We'll send it to you. And Carl Aragale, our next guest. Thank you very much, Bob. Coming into tonight's ball game, Archbishop Wood. The Vikings come in at 5-6 and six overall, 2-1. and one in the Catholic League as Bob mentioned they started off rough with the uh, two and five tough non-conference schedule and now they're a uh, one three and of now the last we have four. Carl Aragel with us the head coach of Newman Garetti with your name newly etched on the floor in South Philadelphia congratulations a deserving honor. Thanks Bob yeah it was pretty pretty cool night it was, uh, yeah, a lot of fun you know and uh, it's, it's an honor. A new look team this year, and you guys have picked up right where you left off in past years. What's special about this group? It's a good group. They work hard. Um, good senior leadership. You know, we share the ball. We take care of the ball, and you know, we just play our style of basketball. And they've taken to it. And when we're good on defense, we're really hard to beat. And then coming to play, John, here, you guys have coached together for so many years. I know it's not the first iteration of this, but it has to be special to come back and play your old pal. Yeah, it's weird sometimes, though, too. Yeah, we're, we were friends before we were ever coached together, so we've known each other for a long, long time. You know, and you never want to see each other lose, but then tonight one of us has to lose, you know. So, you know, so it's, uh, yeah, it's always fun, but it's also could be weird sometimes, and it's, it's tough sometimes, too. Carl, thanks for doing this, and best of luck tonight. No problem, Bob. Thank you. Jeff? Thank you very much, Bob. As uh, the Newman Garetti Saints come in at 11-0, 2-0 in the Catholic League. So it's going to be certainly a uh, two. Dunphy Ford is Mayfair's neighborhood Ford store. Nobody knows your neighborhood like Dunphy Ford. Nearly 40 years. Right here on Frankfurt Avenue. Generation after generation, our neighbors continue to be our customers. We have access to the cars and trucks you want with financing you need. Dumpy Ford is Northeast Philly's first choice for America's number one brand. 7700 Frankfurt Avenue in Mayfair. Online at www.dumpyford.com. Come experience the Dumpy difference. You'll be glad you did. My name is Patrick Donahue, a franchise consultant with FranChoice, the premier network of franchise consultants in America. FranChoice is a company that helps people find a franchise business that's the perfect fit for them. We work with the people who want to own a business but don't really know how to find one that's both a top-notch opportunity and a great match. We specialize in franchise opportunities with the following three characteristics. Low investment, high margin, and rapid break-evens. The best thing about our service is that it's free to the public. We're paid by franchise companies for this service. The process is simple. First we do an introduction, then the candidate provides me with information. We have a consultation based on that information, and we build what's called the model. Once we have that model, we'll share that with three great opportunities that match your criteria. I will follow up with you through the entire process. Obviously the best opportunities fit the criteria mentioned above, and the right way to find those opportunities is to spend some time with the people who work with the very best franchise companies looking to expand in your local area. I'm humbled by your consideration and I look forward to speaking with you soon.
They said it couldn't be done, but somehow CCM was able to close this home in just 21 days. Carl, how'd you pull this off? Oh, hard work, dedication, grinding. Were you ever worried? Well, you know, Chloe, they pinned us in deep in the second bedroom, uh, inspection issues, but we regrouped. Knew there was still a lot in play. Well, I'm sure the Franklins were pleasantly surprised. We got a good organization here. A lot to look forward to. Good luck with the next close. And there you have it. Cross Country Mortgage is dedicated to getting it done. So, it's time for your business to renew your lease. Or perhaps you're right-sizing or relocating. This can be an exciting time. Hmm. But it's also a major project to undertake. Hundreds of decisions to make. Hmm. Some of which may impact your business for the next decade. You know you need an expert on your side from start to finish. What if this expert had no conflicts of interest, no landlords to answer to, and a fiduciary responsibility to work solely in your best interest? Someone who knows the questions to ask, the levers to pull, the pitfalls to avoid. Enter the experts at Gola Corporate Real Estate. They've seen it all over the course of thousands of transactions in dozens of industries. Gola gets it. And what if those experts came with a team? Subject matter experts to manage everything that comes with this process. Space planning and design. Relocation planning and budgeting. Helping you manage your vendors. Construction oversight. All with zero out-of-pocket cost to you. A turnkey experience that adds real value. Value that flows right to your bottom line. Gola gets it. We've been partnering with clients like you for over 40 years. And we know what's important. Solving problems. Creating flexibility. Protecting and stretching your dollars. Philadelphia-based with a national presence. Get to know GOLA. GOLA gets it. Good evening once again and welcome to Archbishop Wood High School. It's the site of a standalone game here in the Philadelphia Catholic League. Only matchup on the calendar here this evening and it's amongst two of the heavyweights. Archbishop Wood hosts Newman Garetti. Let's bring you now inside our broadcast booth. Bob Long and Jeff Sherilla is with us here tonight. Jeff, this is a treat because you have two programs with expectations of winning this league and eventually winning the state at their respective classifications. Tonight goes a long way in determining seeding, home playoff games, which is gonna all matter as we wrap up at the Palestra in mid-February. Yeah, you talked with the coaches uh, just a couple of minutes ago, and, and uh, I loved how uh, on, on the uh, Archbishop Wood side, when John Mosco said, oh, it's gonna get us ready for the league. What are you talking about? You're already in the throes of the league. As you said, No, no, uh, the schedules maker did them no favors. And I had touched on this briefly, is that they started off slow with a two and five non-conference. And then when they get into the league, they've well, now won three of four. Uh, not all those league games, but the, the, the win over Ryan, 72-71. But then they did lose to Roman Catholic. And on the flip side, you've got Newman Garetti, which hasn't had a close game since that uh, overtime, uh, what, 75-73 against the Delaware State Champs. I'm going to say it wrong, but it's Salesian. Salesianum, you nailed it. <laughs> yeah. Say Sal it with confidence. Sal Salesianum. And, uh, and that's, we can talk about this throughout the broadcast. That's a common opponent where uh, uh, Archbishop Wood blew him out and New already barely got by. Yeah, on this very floor, in fact, the nightcap of the Diane Mosco Foundation shootout, one of the great events in high school basketball anywhere and uh, an event that's played in John Was Mosco's late wife's memory. It's a tremendous event, and uh, you know we're thrilled to, to be partners with them in that regard. But you're right, a common opponent in Salesianum. Salesianum, by the way, worked their way through the Catholic League, also beat LaSalle High School, so they've gotten their fill. These teams here have both challenged themselves in the non-conference, and you talk about the heavyweights, it starts with an individual boxer. And it's Jaleel Bethea, the guy that you think about on the Archbishop Wood side of things. One of the top players in the country by all the recruiting rankings and by what he does on the floor as well. Leading his team last year to the Palestra and to the state semifinal. There's two more notches that he wants to achieve this year, Jeff. That's a Catholic League championship and a state championship. He's got some supporting cast around him. Josh Reed, Deuce Maxey, some others that we'll get to. But... The engine starts with Jaleel Bethea. Yeah, Jaleel uh, coming in at averaging almost 25 points per game and uh, the do-it-all guard who's going to be off to Miami and uh, had the pleasure of watching him last year 
we did a broadcast uh, uh, when, when, when they were here for, um, I guess it was CB East it might have been against. And so we're looking forward to see what he can do tonight. No doubt about it. And then on the Archbishop, uh, on the newman Garetti side, some interesting changes to the roster that we'll talk about in just a few minutes. Rob Wright no longer here. Stefan Ashley Wright, his half-brother, is stepping into a much larger role. And then, of course, what an opportunity for the starting point guard, Kafik Myers, who is finally healthy and is ready to take this team to the next level. Let's take you down now to the public address announcer. His name is John McBride, and he is just about everywhere in the Philadelphia area. John McBride does a great job on the public address. We'll send it down for the anthem and the introductions of the starting lineups. As well as sections of South Jersey. Tonight, Archbishop Wood is honored to have with us our AHA honorary captains, as they are a valuable part of our team. So please, let us give a warm welcome to both Matt Backman and Steve McGarry Jr. As we now meet the starting lineup, Stefan Ashley Wright. We talked a little bit in the open about how important he will be, the second member of that backcourt, along with Kafik Myers, who will be introduced shortly. Tori Brooks introduced as well, along with Myers. 
Amir Williams provides some length. Maybe the best corner three-point shooter in the league. Has to mix it up down low in a way that he didn't as much last year. And Lorenzo Jerkins, a transfer from Chester two years ago. We'll get into his story because it is a phenomenal one to see him now playing at this high a level for, for Newman Goretti and looking for a big time year. Here's Archbishop Wood to being introduced. They are in front of a wall of students, as you see, and dressed in the white here tonight. Brady McAdams, a sophomore, first year starter for this Archbishop Wood team, provides some length, can knock it down from deep. Deuce Maxey, in many ways, the key for this Archbishop Wood team. If they're going to get to where they want to go this year, you know what you're going to get from Jaleel Bethea and Josh Reed. Maxey, a big one, and Howell as well, just introduced. The future Drexel Dragon introduced next his senior campaign. And he's been with Jaleel Bethea the whole way. These two seniors, one final swan song for them here in the Catholic League. Wow, I'm really looking forward to seeing how uh, Lorenzo Jerkins does with his ability, you know, as you, you talk about the, the depth of Newman Garetti coming in with averaging a double-double, 55% -double, from the field. Certainly one of the uh, the keys on the Newman Goretti side and uh, spread the wealth for the Saints and then on the Archbishop Wood side. Jaleel has some supporting cast members, as you mentioned, but it's certainly going to go through him as we talked about earlier in the broadcast. Bob Long, Jeff Sharilla, Brady Joyce is with us on camera. Let's get this one underway. A highly anticipated matchup in the Philadelphia Catholic League. And an early whistle as Bethea tried to spring Howell. So with 7.58 on the clock, we'll get this thing started. Archbishop Wood comes out in a man-to-man -man set. Myers, a good kick for Ashley Wright, and that'll get the shooter's roll. You got that friendly touch from the corner. Nice stroke. And Josh Reed playing point guard, also one of, if not the team's leading rebounder this season, does it all for the Vikings. And Kafik Myers defending against Jaleel Bethea. And so how about Howell going to work on the offensive glass? Newman Garetti able to come up with that basketball. Myers, Myers to the hoop, and it's 5-0 early. Maxi, quick hoist. And Howell, how good has he been on the glass? Might have shuffled the feet, Jeff, but he's got two on the board. A lot of good looks early on. Finally got that one to go down. Ashley Wright with a high left-handed dribble, somehow keeps it and got to a great spot. No box out, got his own rebound. Great look to the corner, that's his spot. And it was halfway down for Williams. Josh Reed slicing his way to the hoop. Use that body as defender against the shot blocker, Amir Williams. And a nice left hand to finish. Williams, he'll try it again. A couple of them with a lot of rim that won't go down. It was a good baseline drive to get him that open look, but just couldn't convert. Lorenzo Jerkins got his hands in there and stopped the transition. Brady McAdams will toss this one in from the baseline. And looking for some movement. A lot of hand check in there, Bethea. Nearly brought rain, nearly clipped the roof. Deep. And a quick one on the other end, seven apiece. This is the pace of the Philadelphia Catholic League. 
This is the pace of the best teams in the Philadelphia Catholic League. Great athletes, great teams, let them run. And now Archbishop Wood into this half court set. That's a tough shot for Reed. Myers, guarded by the longer Bethea, but you know he loves this matchup. Got to the block, too strong no on the No fear, window. and he looked for a call, didn't get it, and here they go the other way. Bethea, just didn't look comfortable getting his feet set. Myers, he gets his feet set that time and knocks it down from three. He now has five as this action continues to heat up. A really good look, but that's not Howell's shot, and, our, and Numa Goretti had no issues with him taking that shot. Tory Brooks, the left-handed specialist. Sophomore at 5'11", had a good look. More of those will fall than won't over the course of the year for him. Oh, miscommunication there, just uh, unforced, an unforced turnover, as they like to say. Love seeing man-to-man, -man, Bob. Myers, Both. it's a great look from distance for Stefan Ashley Wright. And Josh Reed, I don't know how he caught that basketball. <laughs> He's got a nice stroke. Reed picks up his dribble in a tough spot. Two-man basketball, a block inside. And Ashley Wright's going to come up with it. Jerkins. Oh, and now an offensive foul sends it the other way. Yeah, Jerkins had the block there. Bob Long Sports always with the replays. And they called the chicken wing. First foul on either side in a lightning quick first four minutes of action. Newman Goretti here on a 6-0 run with those back-to-back -back triples but it's early. Bethea poked away from behind. Amir Williams. Kafik Myers. Everything but the finish there. That was a great look and good transition from the Saints of Newman Garetti. Maxi attacks the body of the shot blocker. Our buddy John McBride with the call of the day. Deuce with the deuce. And a foul going into the act of shooting will send Newman Garetti to the line. What I liked on the last trip was the, the kick out. You, you got into the lane, kicked it back out, even though the three didn't go down. Yep. It was still, it, as you like to say, Bob, in rhythm, in the flow of the offense. That's right. And those rhythm threes, like you insinuated there, Jeff, they come with a paint touch first more often than not. Yeah, it was Amir Williams who got inside, and he wasn't even looking to try. He said, I know I have an open shooter because it's transition and we're going to uh, kick it back out for a good look. One of two from the line. Maxi in rhythm. That one's good. Another deuce for the deuce. And now Archbishop Wood guarding all the way out to the logo. Quick switches as Jerkins gets to the hoop. Took a lot of contact from McAdams. A mismatch there as Maxby had to take him on defensively. Yeah, drawing, drawing the contact, getting to the line. It's a big time move from an athletic 6-6 forward. Comes in shooting 72% on the season. Had a good game in that Silesianum. 32 for 32 as a team performance. He was one of those guys, I believe, don't quote me, I think, believe he might have been 10 for 10 from the line that game. Knocks the first one down. It was a sold out crowd before folks even started rolling up. No tickets told, sold at the door here tonight. I got good news for you. You can watch it on Bob Long Sports. The entire Catholic League tuning in. Yeah, 
Yeah, you mentioned the 10 for 10 from the line. Of course, in that Silesianum game, perfect. 32 for 32. It was a really nice rebound, if you will, from a team that in no small part gave away a lead in the Catholic League Championship due to their inability to hit free throws in the key spot. Maxi has hit his last two from deep. First one had a foot on the line. That one, there was no question. Deuce with the triple. A lot of contact there, not called. And what a job. That's Milan Dean who just checked into the game. Maxi, that's a tough shot. And Jerkin stood his ground. Oh, look at this, a three on one. Euro step, you can count it for Kafig Myers. Mike Green, really good sharpshooter, asked to handle more of the ball this year with some of the graduations from last year. Bethea, not a lot of ball movement off the ball. Williams now, going to carry it the length of the floor. Oh, <laughs> Milan Dean sends it into the third row. A lot of contact. We'll get another look. Certainly clean up top, but you're right. Both hands there, kind of hand checking, and then get out. Nobody kept an eye on him. Couldn't hit the three, Torrey Brooks. And no box out, gets another reset the possession. Long shots, draw long rebounds, Jeff. Amir Williams, and he's had three from that spot and hasn't hit any of them. Reed, got to a really good spot and hit it. Playing yep. off two feet, Jeff, got to a good spot. And he's got a couple of baskets and scored Scored that one. Good look inside to Lorenzo Jerkins and Milan Dean. I think the, the ask might have been to be a little bit more physical inside there. Jerkins caught that ball and was already too deep. Final minute of the first quarter. Fast pace, very fast, very few whistles. But they, uh, Double team. Look at that scrappiness down low. Milan Dean causing some problems and Bethay can do so many things, but a couple times now the ball's gotten sticky in his hands. And a nice job, that's Jerkins over there on the double. Alternate possession will keep it here with Archbishop Wood with 45 seconds to play in the first quarter. Keon Long, and it looked like Yates are checking in for Newman Garetti. Yates, a diminutive one at five foot eight, does a heck of a job for this team coming off the bench. Just a sophomore, perhaps the next great guard at Newman Garetti. Ooh. Love the pink kicks, too. Oh my gosh. Josh Reed, one on three, got the offensive carom. Got to put a booty on a body. You got three in there if you're Newman Garetti, and it's a two point contest. Holding for one. This is in the hands of Tory Brooks. No need to rush. That's Jerkins to set the high ball screen. They get the switch. Through traffic, Yates, Jerkins. Couldn't hit it. An offensive rebound won't go either, and that will end the first quarter. Can't argue with the look down low here, Jeff. In fact, they got two of them inside the paint. Yep. Love the fast-paced quarter. Quick look at the stats. Uh, I see uh, Ashley Wright for Newman Garetti with eight. And now on the Archbishop Wood side, looks like three, four, five, six, seven for Deuce Maxey. He had that triple and the, uh, the two on the line, foot on the line for the Deuce, and then he had the other basket as well. You're watching Bob Long Sports, and we'd ask you, thank you, first of all, for joining us. And I ask you to like the video and subscribe to the channel. What did that do for you? Well, 
It'll give you access and notification when we go live throughout the Philadelphia Catholic League. We have some other big games throughout the course of the season that we'll be bringing to you. Boys and girls, by the way, we'll leave that little tease out there. Ooh. There's a big-time girls game, perhaps even a rematch of a classic from last year that we'll have later up this month. So please do subscribe to the channel. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter, at Bob Long Sports. I got to imagine... Bob, I haven't seen your full schedule because that's back office stuff. You don't let the, the general <laughs> public know. I got to imagine that the Archbishop Wood girls have to be on your schedule at some point coming up. You might be right. You might be but right. But keep it a tease. That's the Philadelphia Catholic League runner-up from last year and the state champions at their classification. Early second quarter action. Myers. Defended by Bethay, and how much fun has that been already, and will it continue to be? They got the switch. Got two feet in the lane, did Yates, and got his own offensive rebound. Somehow that one tiptoes the sideline, and a chicken wing again, so they go one apiece. I like Yates hustling down low, and he, uh, he was able to get his own rebound on the attempted tap out and then you see the foul after the uh, retained possession. Yeah, and this is a really good view thanks to our buddy Brady Joyce. You see that arm wrapped all the way around. That's going to get called. Call it the chicken wing. How about those Buffalo Bills? Huh? All the way to the two seed and a big game that I think they're going to play in a blizzard. No, this weekend, no chicken Jeff. wings in Pittsburgh. There's a boycott. That's, that's a right. carry, right? Yeah, there's a boycott on, uh, <laughs> on, on, on uh, the uh, Buffalo wings. you got to Meatless or a boneless only. I see. I see. No beef on Weck either, although I don't know if they have much of that in Pittsburgh. I don't know what that is, Bob. <laughs> well, then you have to do a little bit of research. That's the good stuff. Beef on Weck. Skip pass. Good catch and release. Ooh. Milan Dean got up and got the block. And, yeah, it's a big-time slam after the fact, but a foul called beforehand. It's a heck of a job. First off by Dean. And then by Bethea recognizing he's got two guys up the floor, barely possesses it and gets rid of it. It's the right call by that officiating crew, but the eyes up floor by Bethea, a difference maker. Bethea getting some action, did not start tonight. He has a few starts under his belt. Coming off the bench shows you the depth. Nice oh. look. <laughs> Spectacular pass by Jaleel Bethea. Reed with the finish. Sorry to step on you, Bob. It was uh, so, this offense is so quick. Don't you worry about that. Basketball is a free-flowing game, and it's 20 apiece. That's the first time we've been tied since it was 7-7. Newman Garetti has controlled the action, and Wood. Hanging around, no team has really had a big, big advantage. The largest lead was six oh, for Newman Garetti, but and it's exactly what you expected, right, Jeff? Back and forth. Game of runs. Newman Garetti with none in the loss column. Kafik Myers. I love this one-on-one -on -one matchup with Bethea and Myers tonight. And Myers, I think, is taking it personally. Catholic League champ last year was Roman Catholic. Kafik Myers got blocked from behind. Great look for Maxi. He's been hot. That one, little juice in the legs there. Milan Dean got the block, and he talked some smack running back up the court. He'll do that. Catholic League fans will know. You know when Milan Dean is on the floor. Bethea, it's a deep one. He has not been able to get into rhythm. But when he gets his stroke and he gets hot, look out. Kafik Myers running at his own pace and hits the gas pedal right at the end. Myers, or, yeah, Myers with 12. Bea dribbles into trouble. Oh. And I don't know about that call. That's tough there. 
tough to see. Might have dribbled off the yep. leg. Yep. Because the, <laughs> the 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 statue standing in front there with Jerkins, he's he wasn't going to draw a charge by any stretch. He's he's yeah. standing his ground. That's a great call there, Jeff. Went off Jerkins' leg. This is so much fun, Bob. Thanks for having me on board. Thrilled to have you. Josh Reed loves to attack the glass. I look at Reed and I look at Kafik Myers. Is that one? They'll wave off that shot. As the two guys that have looked the most in control handling the basketball, Jeff, playing off two feet, both of them, getting to the rim, but not out of control. And that looked like it could, you know, it was like almost like compared to football where, one, where they're hand checking each other. One was pushing off, the other was trying to fight for his space. And a, and a pivot, pivot foot sliding a bit. Stefan Ashley Wright, they call him Munchie. Munchie? Munchie. Munchie Ashley Wright. But the thought is that we talked about a little bit at the open, but not being in his half-brother's shadow. You know, his chance to play with Myers playing the point guard, going to be off yeah. the ball, give it right back. Yeah, just couldn't hold that pivot foot down. Good to see it at this level where they call the game the way it's supposed to be played. You, you get a little jaded watching the NBA and two, three, four times the steps. Yep. But Although, that's in more of an entertainment value, I understand. Folks that watch closely might know my, my issue with the NBA from these broadcasts. At times, well not at times, a lot, uh, the lack of the moving screen call, but there has been a little bit more of a commitment to calling that this year, which I think has improved the product. Excellent. Lorenzo Jerkins. It's a five point lead for Newman Garetti wearing black on the road here tonight. Bea will go wave that one off as well. Neither team in any foul trouble. The other new piece of rules here in the high school level, Jeff, is that the fouls, how they're handled quarter by quarter has moved to a more NBA style. So gone is the college model of counting up by half, and at seven you're in the bonus, and ten the double. Five fouls, there's going to be a call against Ashley Wright, fourth team foul against Newman Goretti, so what was not in a ton of foul trouble has now turned into four team fouls with two in the last 10 seconds. And the idea of that, Bob, is to get more flow in the game, to keep things going so that the, uh, the end of halves don't become too bogged down. Now Stefan Ashley Wright picks up Jaleel Bethea. Oh! And he just handed it to Ashley Wright. Here comes Dean! <laughs> Bethea the other way. He got the finish with the left hand. <laughs> Buy Milan Dean a steak dinner if you're Jaleel Bethea to set up that transition look. He might have gotten a hand on that one as well, and it'll stay here. Dean has been a fiend on the defensive end. Caught that ball on the way up. Nice block off the backboard. All the size they lost with Carson Howard, sure. But you got a rim protector. You can count it. And one for Kafik Myers. And Milan Dean was nowhere to be found. Jeff, they cleared it out for Myers. Four guys on the other side and let him go to work. All by himself, cleared out the right side, the duck and scoop for two. He's at 14, leading all scores, a chance to add his 15th from the line. It was a special team for Newman Goretti last year, but they fell short, just short, of two of their goals. Lost in overtime in the Catholic League Championship to Roman Catholic and lost in the state final to an excellent Lincoln Park team with Malik Thomas, Brandon Cummings on that team. That was lost in the last minute, but a big part of that is that Kafik Myers was dealing with that ankle injury the whole year, clearly was battered, didn't play every game down the stretch, and when he was playing, you could see that he was hobbled. 
He looks pretty darn good here tonight. Back to full strength. The blow by and the duck under. Buffet, you can't leave him that wide open and a little short off the front rim. Seemed like he was surprised and rushed it just a tad. And he was a little closer than he's, than he's been from some of his other <laughs> shots. Amir Williams, and the lid won't come follow, off for him. Follow the rebound. Followed the ball, got the rebound, and turned it over. Another look here. And those are the looks that he wants. I mean, more of a corner three-point shooter, but can knock it down from anywhere. Shooter's got to shoot. Reed, for the first time, was a little out of control with the ball in his hands. Stumbled a bit. A lot. Reed. Bethea again open for three, and that one barely drew the iron. And he is mad at himself. He's clapping his hands, and he's frustrated that he just can't get it going. Myers. How quick off the dribble, and Bethea is called for the personal foul. And he's hurt his knee, left knee. He's holding it. And hopefully it's just a bone-on-bone a, a -bone bruise and nothing structural or anything severe. Myers is struggling. I think you have to make a substitution here, don't you? Well, he is shooting foul shots at this point. Oh. So that goes to the rare situation where... Oh, he's taking the jersey off. That's, that's a lot of pain. Yeah. That is tough to see. So we'll get a break here momentarily, I think. They're bringing in Ashley right back into the game. What's the... Uh, it's a bench player will shoot the free throws. Is that correct, Bob? Not anybody on the floor? I believe that's correct, and it must be Newman Garetti's choice because that's not who John Mosco and Archbishop <laughs> Wood would have selected. <laughs> they, got, they got a guy all the way at the other end who, who hasn't seen many minutes that they've put up the line. Well, keep an eye on Kafik Myers. It's the last thing you want to see. We just got done talking about his road back from injury last year. One of the great Newman Garetti guards sits on the bench, injured at the moment. It's an eight point lead. Bethea goes down again. Oh, look at that. Oh, he had the look and he just couldn't connect. Bethea, though, having a tough time. Handle on the basketball, a little ahead of himself. It's an eight-point lead, and with Bethea playing the way he is, maybe an Archbishop Wood fan can take some solace in that, Jeff, because he's a guy that can get started. He can get started that quickly. Yeah, if, you, yeah, if you're down eight with a, a guy who's an all-star, MVP, going to Miami, averaging 25 a game and currently sitting at five, you can look forward to that breakout. But on the flips and, and, and the but the flip side of that is, is let's give credit to Newman Garetti playing tough defense and perhaps rushing Bethea on a few of those shots. But again, Jeff, Myers was the one guarding him one-on-one -on -one most of the time. And so if he's out for any length of time, does that free up Bethea? Yeah, we'll have to see what they do defensively. Bethea off the floor momentarily. Newman Garetti. We'll have Stefan Ashley Wright on the ball. He's going to toss this one in. Torrey Brooks into the game as well. I, when we watch, go back and watch this broadcast, I have a feeling I wrote down the injury happened at 226, and there was some action, and only one second came off the clock. Either I wrote it down wrong, or there may have been a little bit of a miss on the trigger for the restart <laughs> of that clock. I'm hearing more basketball, which sounds like a good thing. More basketball. Amir Williams up and under. Oh. The tip won't go. He was so high and so strong. I'm surprised he just couldn't finish it. That's a big time finish. Offhand. Keon Long. By Keon Long, the lefty. Pushes it to 10, the biggest lead of the night. 
Green, open for three. Offensive rebound taken away from Howell. Dean is fouled in the act of shooting, and it goes against Ashley Wright. Now, of course, we go back and check the tape on my clock management issue, like the Andy Reid. Sure. It might have been a 236, so we'll have to, we'll have to bookmark that and check back. Andy Reid. <laughs> Time's yours. <laughs> Dean, the 6'5", junior. As you said, Bob, earlier, they all guards all the time. Five out. They like to keep room for driving lanes. And Archbishop Wood fell asleep defensively. Keon Long with his second straight layup. Maxi dribbles into and then gets out of trouble. Reed playing off two feet, poked away from behind. Long, one on three, he doesn't care. He's fouled in the act. Dean got a hand on that right before it hit the glass. Yeah, Dean, he's got a couple of blocks and then even if it doesn't count in the stat book because of the foul, he's, his presence is being felt. Bob, for my unofficial official scoring, who was at the line down here at the uh, the wood that went that one for two? That was Milan Dean. Here's Milan one Dean. more look, by the way, at 25% speed. Got it. I think he got it before the glass. Yeah. Thank you for the uh, update. Trying to keep these stats as unofficial <laughs> as officially unofficial as possible. One of two for Keon Long. Long with some really good run, comes off the floor. Started his career at LaSalle High School his freshman year. Was at Martin Luther King last year, and this is a great opportunity for him, taking full advantage here in the Philadelphia Catholic League with Newman Garetti. Dean. A little too much English on that ball, took it off the cylinder. Matt Gukas checked into the game for the first time. Williams, good look, Jerkins. And it'll stay right here with 43 seconds left. And perhaps with Myers on the bench, Long on the bench, I was going to say do you hold for the last shot. Two shots coming for Jerkins. Another look at this baseline out of bounds play and just two dribbles to get to the hole. And that long arm's in there again. That last possession, we'll have to take a look again when Archbishop Wood comes down. For their next possession, it looked like Amir Williams had the assignment of Bethea. With Myers on the bench. 14 point lead, which is the largest of the night. Archbishop Wood beaten pretty handily by Roman Catholic earlier in the year. There was a thought, hey, is it Newman and Roman again at the top of the Catholic League? Playing like it right now. Blocked again, but Jerkins runs the floor. Picking it up. Getting the garbage bucket. Bethea, oh, it's a great catch. Josh Reed. Yates was going for the steal in transition, and it's an easy bucket. Final two seconds. A deep three won't go, and Archbishop Wood trails by 14. Newman Garetti has come to Warminster and executed on both sides of the ball. Jeff, a thought on the first half. It was great until the, uh, the Myers injury. That uh, is certainly something that uh, 
you hate to see. And, uh, and that, that actually provided a spark. And, and, and Newman Garetti took off from there, and there's been little or no rhythm on the Archbishop Wood side, particularly for Bethea. A lot to talk about in a 10-minute halftime session. The spark hasn't started from Jaleel Bethea. Josh Reed and Milan Dean have been pacing the Archbishop Wood Vikings offensively and defensively, respectively. Brady Joyce on the camera. Jeff Sharilla on color. I'm Bob Long. Stay with us, and we'll be back with the second half momentarily. Dunphy Ford is Mayfair's neighborhood Ford store. Nobody knows your neighborhood like Dunphy Ford. Nearly 40 years. Right here on Frankfurt Avenue. Generation after generation, our neighbors continue to be our customers. We have access to the cars and trucks you want with financing you need. Dunphy Ford is Northeast Philly's first choice for America's number one brand. 7700 Frankfurt Avenue in Mayfair. Online at www.dumpyford.com. Come experience the Dunphy difference. You'll be glad you did. My name is Patrick Donahue, a franchise consultant with FranChoice, the premier network of franchise consultants in America. FranChoice is a company that helps people find a franchise business that's the perfect fit for them. We work with the people who want to own a business but don't really know how to find one that's both a top-notch opportunity and a great match. We specialize in franchise opportunities with the following three characteristics. Low investment, high margin, and rapid break-evens. The best thing about our service is that it's free to the public. We're paid by franchise companies for this service. The process is simple. First we do an introduction, then the candidate provides me with information. We have a consultation based on that information, and we build what's called the model. Once we have that model, we'll share that with three great opportunities that match your criteria. I will follow up with you through the entire process. Obviously, the best opportunities fit the criteria mentioned above. And the right way to find those opportunities is to spend some time with the people who work with the very best franchise companies looking to expand in your local area. I'm humbled by your consideration, and I look forward to speaking with you soon. They said it couldn't be done, but somehow CCM was able to close this home in just 21 days. Carl, how'd you pull this off? Oh, hard work, dedication, grinding. Were you ever worried? Well, you know, Chloe, they pinned us in deep in the second bedroom, uh, inspection issues, but we regrouped. Knew there was still a lot in play. Well, I'm sure the Franklins were pleasantly surprised. We got a good organization here. A lot to look forward to. Good luck with the next close. And there you have it. Cross Country Mortgage is dedicated to getting it done. So, it's time for your business to renew your lease, or perhaps you're right-sizing or relocating. This can be an exciting time, hmm. but it's also a major project to undertake. Hundreds of decisions to make, hmm. some of which may impact your business for the next decade. You know you need an expert on your side from start to finish. What if this expert had no conflicts of interest? no landlords to answer to, and a fiduciary responsibility to work solely in your best interest. Someone who knows the questions to ask, the levers to pull, the pitfalls to avoid. Enter the experts at Gola Corporate Real Estate. They've seen it all over the course of thousands of transactions in dozens of industries. Gola gets it. And what if those experts came with a team? Subject matter experts to manage everything that comes with this process. Space planning and design, relocation planning and budgeting, helping you manage your vendors, construction oversight, all with zero out-of-pocket cost to you. A turnkey experience that adds real value, value that flows right to your bottom line. Gola gets it. We've been partnering with clients like you for over 40 years, and we know what's important. Solving problems, creating flexibility, protecting and stretching your dollars. Philadelphia-based with a national presence, Get to know Gola. Gola gets it. When your car needs repairs and you can't wait, Meineke can help. 
With life's crazy schedule between work and family, you'll love Meineke's same-day service. Call today and Meineke will get your car in today. For new brakes, exhaust repairs, or your check engine light comes on, trust Meineke to do the job right. And families have been coming to Meineke for years because Meineke works on any make or model vehicle. Same-day service, value, and trust. Meineke, doing car care right. Be a part of the biggest live events. Wow. The must-see matches. He's gone! The game day celebrations. Experience live sports and entertainment the way they're meant to be seen. With Joe Hand Promotions, the global leader of live entertainment for bars, restaurants, and cinemas. Create unforgettable moments that fans won't want to miss. Keep the food and drinks flowing with watch parties that will bring customers in the door and expand dwell time. And watch as these visitors turn into loyal customers with exclusive content relationships with the nation's largest sports and entertainment providers. In over 10,000 bars, restaurants, and cinemas across America, and customizable packages for every type of venue. Make your business the place for the next must-see event. Because if fans can't make it to the stadium or arena, your venue is the next best place. What does this win mean? Been with the family for a long time. With our team chemistry, it was bound to happen. Just close, baby! Such a big win from Cross Country Mortgage. Dedicated to getting it done. My name is William Ryan and I'm attending Boston College next year. LaSalle obviously academically is, is so strong and that uh, prepares me for college, prepares me for the next four years at Boston College. But furthermore, I think the community here at LaSalle and the experiences that they provide uh, will allow me to thrive at Boston College next year. The College Counseling Office here at LaSalle prepared me for the college application process through just one-on-one -on -one interviews with my college counselor and also just having the door open here and whenever I had any questions, there were so many resources for me to use and for me to be able to fill out the application to the best of my ability. Obviously, we have the choose your path motto, but I like to say it's more of a blaze your path motto. Uh, on the basketball team, LaSalle gave me an awesome opportunity to help the team in ways that I wouldn't have expected otherwise by you know, putting together scouting reports and stuff like that. And that's what LaSalle offers. It, it offers every kid to kind of take the initiative and, and go forth and do what they want, but do it in an individualistic way. Dunphy Ford is Mayfair's neighborhood Ford store. Nobody knows your neighborhood like Dunphy Ford. Nearly 40 years. Right here on Frankfurt Avenue. Generation after generation, our neighbors continue to be our customers. We have access to the cars and trucks you want with financing you need. Dunphy Ford is Northeast Philly's first choice for America's number one brand. 7700 Frankfurt Avenue in Mayfair. Online at www.dumpyford.com. Come experience the Dunphy difference. You'll be glad you did. My name is Patrick Donahue, a franchise consultant with FranChoice, the premier network of franchise consultants in America. FranChoice is a company that helps people find a franchise business that's the perfect fit for them. We work with the people who want to own a business but don't really know how to find one that's both a top-notch opportunity and a great match. We specialize in franchise opportunities with the following three characteristics. Low investment, high margin, and rapid break-evens. The best thing about our service is that it's free to the public. We're paid by franchise companies for this service. The process is simple. First we do an introduction, then the candidate provides me with information. We have a consultation based on that information, and we build what's called the model. Once we have that model, we'll share that with three great opportunities that match your criteria. I will follow up with you through the entire process. Obviously, the best opportunities fit the criteria mentioned above, and the right way to find those opportunities is to spend some time with the people who work with the very best franchise companies looking to expand in your local area. I'm humbled by your consideration, and I look forward to speaking with you soon.
Second half about to get underway here from Archbishop Wood High School. It's the game of the night. It's the only game in the Catholic League here tonight. Archbishop Wood, Newman Garetti, and the Saints have a 14-point lead. Bob Long, Jeff Shirilla, and Jeff can tell us how we got here. Yeah, it's the biggest lead of the night with the 41-27 uh, halftime lead. Archbishop Wood held to nine points in that second quarter. The leading scorer for the Saints is uh, Kafik Myers, who is not on the floor, went out with an injury. He leads all scorers with 15. Josh Reed, the leader for Archbishop Wood, with 12. He is the first guy on the bench, but he's got ice on his left knee. It's not, that does not, does not look good for no. a, you know, we're, we're not doctors. We didn't talk to anybody. We're not That's physical right. therapists. But I would suspect it would be unlikely he returns. And hopefully it's nothing serious. And I might have just gotten a smoke signal from one of our buddies on that New Magaretti bench, and it was shrugging the shoulders and palms to the sky. So I don't know if they know for sure. Milan Dean throws it down, and that's the dream start here in the second half. That's for his Wood. first basket of the night. He's now has three. About his sixth time above the rim, though. Yeah, for sure. And that quick answer on the other end. Tory Brooks. His first Dave. basket of the night. He's got four points. Deuce Maxi. And Long will bring this one down. Keon Long. Poked away, and McAdams is first on the floor, but then gave it away. That's a big time move and a fantastic finish by Tory Brooks. Went right at the big fella. And quite frankly, worked his way through a lot of contact. And just entering your picture now. Yeah. Milan slow. So, yeah, Milan Dean is very slow, but now he's picked up the pace on defense. Jerkins, he's fouled by Dean. One more look, and I think Newman Garetti, pretty smart kids on this team. They saw Milan Dean not really give that full effort offensively. So let's go right at him defensively. Feed the big man Jerkins. And Milan Dean is slow to come off the floor. A saunter as he walks past John A sulking Mosco. saunter. Stefan Ashley Wright, clear it out and get to the baseline, young man. It's a 17-point lead for Newman Garetti. And another giveaway. Bethea frustrated. Amir Williams, I think he's missed four or five from distance. That's not going to happen much this year. He is a dynamite shooter from deep. Jaleel Bethea, right place, right time, but only in the right place because he crashed the boards from beyond the three-point line, given the effort, and looking to get his team back in it. Yep, Sky, easy put back. Newman Garetti challenged themselves in a big way in the non-league. Still have the oval, though, in the loss column overall. Open three, and this team is feeling it. Wow. Keon Long. Maybe the biggest win was avenging, Jeff, that state championship loss last year by going to Erie and beating Lincoln Park in the final of that Burger King tournament. A lot of talented teams in that tournament. Maxi got two feet in the lane. Jerkins. It's pretty good defense by Howell. Long able to kick it out. It's an open triple. Good board. Maxi got into the lane. And everything but the finish with the left hand. Just couldn't get it to go down. Strong at the rim. Just not strong, but didn't have the touch to put it over the 
front of the rim. Get another look at this blocking foul called against Julio Bethea. Trying to induce a charge, but that would have been a tough call there. I'm going to go inside baseball here for you, Bob, the, uh, or inside basketball. The folks at home that don't get a chance to see the broadcast, we have to give you credit for doing the production, the replays, the broadcasting, the scheduling. Bob Long does it all. He's a one-man show. Well, thanks, Jeff. We do it because we love it and because Catholic League basketball is the best. Jerkins bullying his way to the hoop. He's up to 12. Bethea. Green. It's an open three. Much needed. Again, maybe that ball sticks a little bit there with Bethea, but he's so strong on the basketball, Jeff. Three guys are going to come to him. Really good vision to get it to Green. Uh, and another strong take. Amir Williams. Timeout called by Carl Aragale, and Williams has added to his game. Not just the spot-up three-point shooter anymore. Gets all the way across the lane and puts it in. It's a 17-point lead. Certainly not over yet as we look inside that Archbishop Wood huddle, but the question is, how much time do you have and what answers comes out of that huddle, Jeff? They, yeah. Bob, you're putting, me, <laughs> putting us in a tough spot. I mean, it's... I think it has to start on the defensive end. I think you got to get some stops and, and get the transition baskets, and that will create the offense to get you the momentum to get you back into the game because you can run up and down the court all day and shoot, but if you're trading baskets, it's not going to help you. Cut that deficit, 17-point lead. New McGretty comes out of the timeout with a full-court look. Picking up full-court, yep, man-to-man. -man. Milan Dean goes baseline and lost his footing. Out of control. Garetti's off and running. It's a great job by the Saints to pull this back. Archbishop Woods staying man to man. Oh, Ashley wow. right to the hoop. And there, there was a collision out front, and Michael Green looked stunned as he took the shoulder to the chin. And it might have been Dean, Milan Dean there. Good hands there by Dean. And again, Dean kind of thought that he was going to get a call there. The reason he got clocked is because he went with the reach, Jeff. Yeah. Stefan Ashley Wright. Step back and halfway down. Great look for Howell, it's blocked. Amir Williams. The high flyer, we've seen a lot of that today. We love the man-to-man -man action, and which leads to. It's an all-world pass here. Just dropped it in the bucket, but Williams hustling. Creating those opportunities for the high flyers. Dean. That's a great look for Reed, but he short-armed it. Yeah, collision in the lane. And a foul is called. I don't know if it's Howell or Dean, and Dean has to be careful. He's gesturing his frustrations to his own bench, but very demonstrative, Jeff. Yeah, he he's going to come out here, but he... he he was stunned on that shoulder to the chin as he was reaching. And just seems to, to be a little hyped up. And as you said, you got to be careful. It's a smart job to pull him out, Moscow. Coach Moscow, sorry. Nineteen point lead, so Newman Goretti plays in the half court, and why not? No hurry. Two oh seven and ticking here in the third quarter. Stefan Ashley Wright got into the lane, rose and finished. Twenty one point lead. He's at fourteen and counting. 
Jerkin stays right in front of Jaleel Bethea. That's excellent on-ball defense. Great defense, tough shot, a, a force, but in this part of the ball game, what are you gonna do? Contact, no foul, big finish. And Long is on the floor. Contact, and two shots coming. Tory Brooks. Is that Brooks on back-to-back? -back? He had the basket and then picks up the foul? No doubt about it, and Long first on the floor. Newman Garetti is having their way. They're running offense, and they're playing much more disciplined as well. You asked Bob earlier what can Archbishop Wood do to get back in it. Right now, I think they just need to regroup, get some flow, get some offense, just learn from this because it looks unlikely unless there's a meltdown and a miracle comeback. Well, I asked that question when it was 55-38. Count it and one. That's the first point scored since I asked that question. What was an 8-0 run for Newman Garetti? One more look at Howell. Second basket of the game. Interesting, that might have been a play on, but Howell will shoot one. With a minute 12 to go in the third quarter, Nimagretti dribbled it off the foot of Bethea. And Bethea mumbling, talking directly to the official. Not demonstrative, but certainly letting his feelings be known. Oh, the hesitation. Just couldn't finish. Here comes Reed the other way. Deuce Maxi with the lob. And that should be a travel. <laughs> Give it up and get it back to yourself. <laughs> nice find. Maxi on the assist. Maxi on the bucket. We're going to have Maxi first base, second base, third That's base. Right. Tory Brooks has a really nice handle. They are counting the clock off. And a foul is called. How <sighs> with a reach. We're doing this again, but, and we're gonna get this, and I, I have no issue with the officials, I have an issue with the rule. So stop the count there, right? He, he moved off the ball, he moved forward, he's still counting even there. The foul call comes from the other side, but in my mind, that count needs to stop once you advance that ball. I know he didn't break the outside hip. <laughs> Hate the interpretation of the rule at the high school level. Bob, you are a student of the game and uh, an expert. I defer to you. <laughs> and you're... Well, you never see it at the college level, and you ask yourself, why is that? In my opinion, it's because there is a constraint on how long you can hold the ball or how you run your offense. That's called the shot clock. But they are no good again, and they'll let that one go. Still plenty of time to take it down the floor. I mean, but they are is being held under single digits. He's at seven points right now. It'll be a good look at the horn and the double pump. It won't get off in time. Good defense running to the ball by Maxing. One more look and it's a 65-42 game. Newman Garetti has really Added on to that lead, plus nine in the third quarter. So that quarter, 65, 24 to 15. Sounds right. That adds up, plus nine. <laughs>
My partner here tonight, Jeff Sharilla, by the way, great uh, background in the sports world, back on the CN8 days. And You're, that's a dinosaur these days, Bob. People not that long ago. Uh, well, it feels not, like it. Maybe not the kids. Yeah, the kids. On the the kids don't know anything about it. But yeah, <laughs> thank you for for yeah the, the uh, Bob. So tell it, us about how you how you got yeah, here. Yeah, that was that was back. Uh, the, some names you might recognize. I know you will know Greg Murphy, who is a uh, longtime Phillies reporter, was one of our key stalwarts uh, on the CN8. Out of Bounds was a, a talk show that we did at, uh, before. Greg Murphy, there was um, Lou Tilly, a longtime sportscaster who pops up. You see him on NFL Films. He was uh, one of the reporters going way back at the Eagles uh, Bears Fog Bowl reporting. You'll see it on NFL Films. So did a lot of uh, high school sports for CN8 and, uh, and glad to be back here and enjoying some Philadelphia Catholic League action, even though it's lopsided. <laughs> Well, it's been it's been great to get you back in the mix, and we've been trying to do more of this. So, a thank big matchup like tonight, it's been great to have you out. Well, thank you, thank you, and I'm glad that you guys had the uh, the lone game on the card tonight. What a crossover! Hangs and couldn't hit it, but like all night, Newman Garetti has been controlling the glass. There's the lob, Jaleel Bethea. It's an unbelievable finish. One of the one of the rare times he's been free. All of his points have been around the rim. One more look here. That's an oh, unbelievable yes. finish. Now a giveaway on Newman Garetti's oh. end. Back to back highlights for Jaleel Bethea. Hello, light the lamp. That puts him up to eleven. And Newman Garetti says, let's, let's slow it down. Let's regroup. The last thing you want to do up 21 and now 19 points is to rush things offensively. The time, the clock is your friend. There's no shot clock. And if I can bring that back to the prior point about the five-second call yes, on live bring it. action, I think that's why you don't see it at the college level because you yep. already have a constraint. It's the shot clock. Yep, and you're putting a, you're trying to shoehorn a square peg in a round hole, in my opinion, by calling that five second violation so in line with the letter of the law that's not called at any other level of basketball. We have tremendous officials here. This is a great crew. The Catholic League has so many quality officials. They're calling the rule the way NFHS and the state of Pennsylvania wants them to call it. I just wish it wasn't the case. We need you on a committee somewhere to get the. <laughs> the rules re reimagined, reinterpreted. But, yeah, we've had no problems with the officiating. Oh, it's been great. Dribble drive. There's the follow by Lorenzo Jerkins. Keon Long is unabashed in getting to the rim. I know that one didn't fall, but his night has been excellent. Yeah, he drove, drove hard and was too many bodies flying at that glass. That was a dangerous pass, intercepted, and Long will slow it down. Ashley Wright will walk it across half court because and we talked about this late in the first half and right at the beginning of the second, but no Kafik Myers sitting with ice on his knee was fouled by Jaleel Bethea. Clean play, He's certainly not malicious, but. He, yeah, he went out with 15 points and I had just marked, he had the beautiful scoop and score to cut it to uh, 30 to 24, or to extend it to 30 to 24 at that point. And it's been all Newman Garetti since, and we haven't seen Myers on the floor since that basket and the foul in the preceding possession. So that will be of note as we continue on here. Newman well on their way here tonight. But Myers, who's worked so hard to get through injury last year, you just hate to see anything derail his season this year. His senior season, going to St. Joe's next year, the next in the line of great Newman Garetti guards, having to do it without Rob Wright, who transferred Montford Christian Academy this year. Stefan Ashley Wright for three. That one rattles home. Great dish, great look from Keon Long. <laughs> I 
Ashley Wright with a little tap on the backside for Milan Dean. Oh, it's a great look. Count it and one for Josh Reed. And Amir Williams, he's like, oh, really? A foul? And he completes the three-point play. He's now up to 15, unofficial. With 5'10 five, five, to go here. As Bob Long does it all, including <laughs> changing batteries. That one's no good. And here comes Josh Reed the other way. It's a great look for Mike Green. That's his spot, but it won't go. Another open look, Ashley Wright. He's got two triples in the last three possessions for Newman Garetti. Unofficial, he is up to 20. And a great spin move. Josh, Josh Reed. Reed. Yeah. Reed. It's kind of the way it went against Roman Catholic for Archbishop Wood. They won a huge game at Archbishop Ryan on a last possession win. Count it and one for Keon Long. You said it earlier, he is not shy about going to the rim. It's a great feed. Long, naturally left-handed, attacks the outside hip and gets to the rim. Bob, I was just gonna ask you, you as a veteran of these Catholic League games, when the bench is will be emptied and with about with just over four to go looks like we're getting a couple of substitutions for wood yeah probably not wholesale at this point uh, four minutes is is a lot of time to give run to to those backups certainly a few you know isan Bea into the game mcadams back into the game who started but hasn't played a ton yeah, of minutes. He has, yeah he has not had a lot of minutes The back Dean. cut, yeah, he was there. McAdams for three. That's good. Sweet stroke from the outside. So the other thing that we tease here, and certainly want to keep folks here, is who is who who one or two or you know multiple guys from Newman Garetti course if they finish this off and win will we go down and look to interview for the Bob Long Sports post game interview there's the lob Amir Williams throw it down on the assist from Brooks well with Myers being out and one more look there there's a steal on the other end and Amir Williams does it again I mean you could take your pick I think I mean it's been a it's been the the well the wealth has been spread as the D Dean puts it in. Huck Palmer's going to have his work cut out for him here tonight on the PCL dunk tracker. Only one game to watch, but he's going to have to do a lot of work to update that dunk tracker here tonight. By the way, follow our good buddy Huck Palmer on Twitter. Yeah, I got to check that out. These teams are going to be up there on that list. I can promise you that. McAdams checks out of the game. Joe Kelly, the senior at 5'11", comes in his place. As does Jaden Jenkins, the uh, freshman, 6'8". I'm sure he'll be gaining some weight over the next few years. Isan Bea. And that was tipped. It'll stay here. I feel like two guys... That would be great to talk to. One of them's running over to talk to Carl Auergale right now, Lorenzo Jerkins. His story has been a great one this year, coming back after being unfortunately suspended all of last year, taking this opportunity in his senior campaign. And then Stefan Ashley Wright. Yeah, that's the second one that I was going to. He had 10 in the first half. He's up to 20. 
And he's a guy that with Myers off the floor has been asked to do a lot more. I think he, along with Long and Brooks, have been spectacular. You think about it, it was what? A, you said a six point game. Off of that three point play, yep. And, and we then we want to give Myers comes off the floor. Yeah, I want to give you a shout out to Samir Palmer with the deuce. Getting in the scorebook. Up and under. Deshaun Yates. The 5'9 sophomore getting up. Kelly. As a former high school bench warmer, these are the times you, you dream of, Bob. Your team's up big and you get a chance to play a few minutes as a young guy. Good tip, but it's gonna get all the way to Brooks. And a momentary timeout just to get the subs in and we'll keep it rolling with a minute 11 to play. Yeah, that's Oscar Briskin, the sophomore coming in and Reese Torrance if I'm saying his name correctly. He's a sophomore 5'8 as well. Always the most dangerous moment for the equipment, Jeff, oh, by the way. When, when the, uh, <laughs> a, 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 patr on. a patron uses it as a, a crutch. <laughs> yes. You just hold on for dear life. Well, we have a game scheduled for tomorrow. LaSalle and Archbishop Carroll. So we, got, we you, need you, this equipment. You have it all. You're still, in, still intact. <laughs> we don't exactly have a lot of backup. Kelly for three. Joe Kelly in the books. Yates got to the hole, extra pass. There's the dribble drive and too strong off the window for Matt Gukas. The hustle. Play into the final whistle. You got 30. And Gukas will put it what in his pocket. What about Jaden Williams? Let's see if we can get him free. Briskin, he's in the corner. Swing it, he's open. He's taught well, Jeff. <laughs> Pull it back. And now you just let it, let, let it, let it run down. Newman Coretti, they keep that zero in the loss column in the Philadelphia Catholic League. Archbishop Wood, they drop to two and two. And what was a big time matchup coming into tonight, Newman Garetti runs away with it in the second half. Yeah, 83-61, your final. Bob takes the headset off and makes his way down the court side. We'll try to do some quick, quick math here because uh, the scoring did get a little out of control when it comes to keeping up with the, the, with, with the pace. As Bob said, uh, Newman Garetti gets out. They're now 12-0, 3-0 in the Catholic League. With the loss, Archbishop Wood drops to 5-7, and 2-2, two and two, as they have uh, lost two of three now after their win over Ryan, lost to Roman two games ago. Trying to keep my eye on Bob as he's down on the court. He's got uh, Stefan Ashley Wright unofficially with 20 points. And let's go down to Bob who's got one of our players of the Stephane game. Stefan Ashley Wright is our guest post game. Heck of a game for you. What went well out there for you? Uh, really our shooting and playing defense and playing all together. I mean, I, we know if we work all together and stick together, even though with Kafik getting hurt, just stay together, we're going to pull something out. It is tough with Kafik going down, I'm sure. You kind of... Have to change the offense a little bit. A lot more on you handling the basketball. What did you talk about at halftime in terms of how you'll have to adjust, at least for tonight, with Myers off the floor? I just told him just stay together and just talk, talk to each other and encourage each other. So like nobody be uh, like feeling down on ourselves. We stay positive and just keep on going. This is yet another Newman Garetti team, guard heavy. Lorenzo does a great job in the front court. Amir, another one of those long wings. What's special about this group? Uh, I feel like we all just work hard. We all like play, like, I feel like the team, in order uh, the team to play good, we all got to play together and play for each other. And Coach Carl tells us that all the time. Defense come first, play the gaps, and just help and just play hard. 
going up a guy like against a guy like Jaleel Bethea, Josh Reed, two big time Division One guys. What's the challenge, and how'd you guys handle it so effectively? Uh, really, we just try to uh, maintain like all uh, Jaleel shots and just uh, work on. Uh, I mean, we were trying to like when Josh Reed was dribbling, just try to like back off of him a little bit to let him shoot, and basically that's it. Just play together on defense and help have your help. We appreciate your time. Congrats on the win. Keep up the good work, and we'll see you along the way. Thank you. Stefan Ashley White with us. Enjoy the night. Jeff, back to you. Thank you very much, Bob. Stefan Ashley Wright, the point guard, a sophomore, six foot tall, and he had, uh, I believe, a game high 20. Officially unofficial, he had 20. Other scores we mentioned, he uh, talked about Kafik Myers, had 15 in the first half, and he ended up with. Uh, uh, with that knee injury late in the second quarter, he went out, but the team continued to pour it on. Ke Keon Long had 10, Tory Brooks with 10, and also uh, Lorenzo Jerkins. He turned in 14 points, all unofficial. I know there are stat heads out there that are keeping track of every point, but as Bob uh, does a lot of the yeoman work when it comes to the video, the production, the broadcasting, I'm helping out with some statistics, which uh, yeah, we'll say 85 to 90 percent accurate. But, I love it. But uh, on the flip side, when we talk about the uh, Archbishop Wood, I mentioned earlier, Bob, they dropped to five and seven, two and two in the league. The high score unofficially, Josh Reed with 15, and then uh, Jaleel Bethea. We don't have the uh, shooting statistics for him. He only had five points at halftime. A couple of highlight reel baskets, including a thunderous dunk. I believe he finished with 11. Deuce Maxey also with 11. And then a handful of other players in single figures as uh, it did not go the way that uh, the Vikings would have liked. But it's a long season, and certainly uh, they will continue on and uh, have some regrouping to do. But we expect to see them in the mix, both at the, uh, at the league level as well as in the state playoffs. Yeah, and I'll add one thought to that as well because – it's a team in Archbishop Wood that, yes, they're 2-2, two and two, but look at who they've played. They've played Archbishop Ryan. They've played Roman Catholic. Now they've played Newman Gretti. Sure, they'd like to have nabbed a couple of wins there against Roman and Newman, but they're going to be favored in most of the games that they play this season, and they are absolutely in the mix still to host a playoff game, and this is a tough place to come in a 3-6 or 4-5 matchup. They'll keep going along the way, and oh, oh by the way, Jaleel Bethea, Josh Reed, Deuce Maxey. They got some tremendously talented guys. I think they got to carve out their niche and figure out their identity offensively a little bit, a little more ball movement. I'm sure that's what Ed McCormick, John Mosco, and all those coaches yeah, will talk about. Yeah, Mosco and Boyd, and uh, yeah, they will they will look at the, the results, look at the tape or the film or the video, whatever we're calling it these days, and, <laughs> and figure out uh, what they can do because – Depending how far you advance, you, you may play one of those teams that you've already lost to when you've, when you've already lost to Roman, but you beat Ryan and then you lose to Newman Goretti, certainly uh, one of the class teams in the state this year. That'll be it for us here tonight, folks. Brady Joyce, our all-star cameraman here with us here tonight. Jeff Shirilla on color commentary hopefully not the last time partner thank you very much bob why don't you give a little plug out uh, you've got more games coming up on the schedule where are you where are you tomorrow night yeah tomorrow night archbishop carroll lasalle against archbishop carroll and that should be a good game two teams that are more talented than the 0-3 philadelphia catholic league record would tell you and for the race at the top that we saw here tonight there's a race to get in eight nine ten to the playoffs and that 10th team is going to be one heck of a basketball team when the time comes. Tomorrow's game goes a long way in determining who's going to put themselves in that position. So that'll be a fun one. And then on Tuesday, we're back here as LaSalle travels to Archbishop Wood. Well, Bob, thank you for all that you do for the Philadelphia Catholic League, Bob Long Sports. You've got the archive. Anybody that didn't happen to catch the, the first half can go back and watch this game as well as any of the other games that you guys stream and uh, it's certainly appreciated by the the fans the coaches the players and everybody in the in this area thank you for what you do and uh, we, uh, we we definitely want to keep people like subscribe forward all the all those uh, streaming options no doubt about it we wouldn't do it if folks didn't love it so thanks for joining us here tonight brady joyce jeff cirilla my crew here tonight i'm bob long so long for now and we'll see you tomorrow night from Archbishop Carroll.